IVC, Dale Gatefold 33 here. Um, so this is a, a kind of thread response, a kind of show and tell. Uh, just watch a video by Jeff Calico Silva um, where he's talking about double albums. Um, and I remember a few, maybe months ago now, um, Richard McCook did a thread around good, dub, great double albums. Um, and something and you know there've been threads in the past about double albums so so i'm going to do a bit, a bit of a ramble um i'm going to kind of try and, and go off on a bit of a tangent um because um i think um well certainly in my mind it's uh it's fairly clear that there are the you know, the great double albums um a number of which jeff mentioned and and, and have come up in other threads have stood the test of time there are some, some great great double albums you know like the White Album, Exile on Main Street, Blonde on Blonde, um, Pink Floyd's The Wall, um, to name a few. Um, and so I'm not going to do an, another video that shows those albums. Um, I'm going to try and um, do a, I don't know what this is, a bit of a, a, a think piece from my, my own think piece about um, double albums in the modern age. So what I've done here is I've, I've picked out 10, 10 records uh, which are after 87 so the C sort of 88 um, the CD age um, and I've kind of picked out 10 some of which I think are genuine double albums some of which I think are a victim if that's the right term of uh, the fact that there were 70 80 minutes on a CD which meant that when they had their limited vinyl pressings they ended up being double albums um, and you know this is just my my thoughts that there'll be lots I've missed to so have I just went through and just picked out 10, some of which I think are and some of which I think aren't, just as a, as I said, just as a kind of um, something to talk about. <clears throat> so um, uh, hopefully it'll become clear as I go through. So um, so where am I going with this? Let's start. Um, this is, and these are alphabetical, so <laughs> and I've made a few notes. So um, my first one that I've picked um, is um, David Bowie's The Next Day. Uh, so this came out in ooh, doo, 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 2013 it's 54 minutes long so that's um in my mind too long for a single album um do i think this is a genuine i've put possible possibly so what i think here is david bowie came back after a period away he had some material it added up to 54 minutes that wouldn't fit on a single album it became a double Hence, this is a double album because he, David Bowie had 54 minutes of genuine material that he wanted to share with us, and we're thankful that he did. So I think this is a, a possible. I don't think he went out to create a double album. Um, he went out to, to, as I say, to, to create some new music, and it happened to add up to more than a single. So so that's my thoughts on that. Let's see where we're going here. Um, next is uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Um, from 2004 and this is um, Abattoir Blues Liar of Orpheus now so this came out 2004 so height of the CD age but um, it came out as a double CD and I do think this is genuinely a double album because it is you know even the title gives it away it's two separate albums um put together and put out um as a single release um and so i think this um is a is a great modern double album um so that's uh say nick cave and the bad seeds abattoir blues lyre of orpheus um that's probably the best example i've got if i'm honest um so where are we going now bob dylan so bob dylan's done a number of modern double albums so i'll just pick one of them this is um uh, love and theft this is a, an original us press um so again sort of height of the cd age was 2001 was it 2001 oh, i should have said i'd also done so the the nick cave is that's 84 minutes long as well two two 42 minute albums if you like um so that's definitely a, a, a prime double um this is 58 minutes so again too long too long for a single but again i think i think this is a yes you know bob dylan has got a track record of making double albums um he has um 
you know stuff to say um, and I think here he had stuff to get off his mind and it added up to this and uh, you know it's a genuine double album um, so I'm saying yes for that that's kind of you can see my reasoning is a little bit kind of dubious but um, I'm giving I'm giving Bob the, the benefit of the doubt that he's uh, he's created a double album here genuinely okay coming up we've got now is 1998 and Massive Attack's Mezzanine. So Massive Attack have previously Blue Lines as a single album. Um, so I think that they, again, through this, is quite a sprawling album. Um, I think they um, certainly used the, um, the the time available on a CD. So how long is this? Uh, 63 minutes. Um, but I think, you know, this is a genuine, um, a genuine double album. Um, so this is Massive Attacks Mezzanine um, from, what did I say when it was from, 1998. Um, so I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. These are all, these are all great albums, by the way, in my, in my view. Um, although this, <laughs> this next one is, uh, is wearing a bit thin, shall we say. Um, so the next one is Oasis, definitely, maybe, their debut from 1994. So this, I, I'm not sure it is because, you know, the debut album, I think they had material to, they wanted to share as part of their debut. Um, it added up to 50, it added up to, it added to 52 minutes. So I agree, too long for a single album, but this was in the heart of the CD age. I think they just wanted to, um, you know, to get their debut out and their debut was a fully formed album. It added up to 52 minutes. Therefore, the vinyl press um, is happens to be a double, but I think it was probably, you know, just um, the album aimed at the CD and the vinyl pressing was secondary. So I'm saying this is a is a no. So this is all. Um, where are we going next? Um, this next one, we are in 1994. Is it 1994 again? Yep, 1994 again. Pink Floyd's the division bell so this um is not is is okay as my in my view as a as a as a pink floyd album not great so i've just as i said all these were great actually they're not all great this is not great um this um i think is a bit bloated and i think it's the 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 obviously the post roger waters pink floyd trying to um produce a concept album um that and perhaps therefore putting in more material than is truly necessary um 60 what is it 67 minutes so i think um th you know they probably intended to put out 67 minutes of material um whether it, it holds together as a genuine double album uh, doesn't hold my attention for a double album so uh i'm saying i'm saying possibly not here as I'm doing this video, I'm realising that the, my logic is just completely all over the place. But I will continue, and I may even post this video. Um, so, um, yeah. So let's let's just treat this as a as, as a ramble through double albums with a kind of. And if you can come back with something that's much more coherent than I'm doing, um, please do. Um, so where we are now. So next um, is R and Radiohead. Um, OK Computer. This is a fantastic album. This is a fantastic. Um, you know, sequence of music. This this is definitely um, all of this fits in the album. There's something to be said throughout this album, and I think um, this is you know a great album. And therefore, um, it's 54 minutes long, so I think it's intended. You know, they needed every minute of this album to make the album and and deliver the the you know the 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 um, art that they wanted to deliver. Um, and uh, Therefore, and it was done the sort of height of the CD age. This is the triple vinyl reissue. I, um, but um, yeah, um, so I'm saying I'm not sure it was a genuine double album, but it was a genuine 54 minutes um, or, of music. Similarly, this is a uh, Richard Thompson, Sweet Warrior. Um, so this is um, 69 minutes here. Let's flip the page over. Yeah, 69 minutes from 2007. Um, 
very very scarce on vinyl very very rare on vinyl this, I've shown this before um, so I think this was definitely um, you know Richard Thompson um, has got a lot to say normally and um, uh, he was you know aiming this up releasing it on CD um, and it ended up being therefore double when it was on vinyl but it's a very very scarce on vinyl so I think this was a you know wasn't intended to be necessarily a double album it was just that Richard Thompson had um, that amount of music um, and that and you know had that amount to say um, that um, it ended up being 67 sorry 69 minutes long and um, oops I haven't got the time for this let me just get my spreadsheet up where are we now yeah so and talking of people who had something to say this next one um, so I'm now going to contradict myself completely um, so yeah so this is this video is now defunct rubbish and null and void but I'll continue um, so Lucinda Williams has, has has got a lot to say. Um, she's quite prolific. Um, she's got a lot of opinions. Um, I really like her, and I really like her opinions. So this album, she had an, an awful lot to say. Um, this is down where the spirit meets the bone. Um, it's very sprawling. This, in fact, this is a triple triple vinyl. Um, so uh, yeah, um, triple vinyl album um, of a hundred and. 104 minutes um so yeah in this um time you know so listen i think it's genuine that she had 104 minutes of stuff to say um and normally um she wants to get to get her views out so uh i'm saying a yes for this save me save me one more left and i can stop this video um okay another yes um xdc Oranges and Lemons, this is an original UK breast of this. Um, so I think I'm saying yes because XTC have got track record of double albums. They did one with English Settlement um, prior to this. Um, uh, I think Andy yeah, um, and Colin um, really think about the music they want to put out. Um, they don't waste their words and therefore if they want to put out a double album, they meant to put out a double album. Um, so I'm saying the definite yes for the XTC. There you go. I'm ending on a high, something that's logical. Um, so um, that's it. Yeah. So so that's my kind of response. Not that Jeff was asking for a response. Um, going down a rabbit hole that Jeff wasn't asking me to go down. Um, uh, but as I say, I've seen plenty of videos on doubles. Um, and so I thought I'd try something a bit different. And I don't think it worked. But I may still post this uh, now that I've bothered recording it. Okay. Take care, FVC. Cheers. Bye.